Warriors went into the night just one win away from state championships. Two local teams, Blair Oaks and Rockbridge, had a chance to win team titles in their respective classes. Busy night, final night of the state wrestling championships. Falcons looking for their first ever title, hoping to hold off Whitfield in class one. Frankie Falatico lost at 126. Logan Mudd, though, wins his matchup at 145 pounds. Five zip, that put Blair Oaks in the team lead. 160 pounds, Centralia's Ethan Layton pinned by Rodney Hahn from Whitfield. Hahn wins his fourth state championship. That gave Whitfield the team lead again. Blair Oaks hopes, resting on the shoulders of this guy, Cole Kemna at 170 pounds, needing a victory. Gets two points for the takedown there. Three more on the near fall. Kemna coming back from injury, wins the state championship at 170, and that gives Blair Oaks the state title in class one. As we look at the scores, the Falcons win the championship by two and a half points over Whitfield. A great run. Blair Oaks wins the first state wrestling championship in school history. In class four, the Rockbridge Bruins went into the final round tied with Park Hill. For the team lead, we should be seeing some highlights of that right now, I believe. Maybe not. There we go. The Bruins, again, tied for first place. Josiah Klein at 113 pounds wins his matchup in overtime. Rockbridge with four wrestlers in the finals. Jason Keeney at 138 and Sam Crane at 145 wrestled back-to-back. -back. They both lost their matches. And that took the Bruins out of the hunt. Cody Malley, though, would finish it off on a positive note for the Bruins, winning at 182, two state champions for Rockbridge. And as we go back to that scoreboard, Rockbridge finishes in second place in Class 4. Park Hill defends its team title with a score of 132. Bruins finish at 126, a second place finish for Rockbridge. Four other mid-Missouri wrestlers hit the Madden State title matches this evening. Business as usual for Jaden Clayton of Tolton. He wins his third consecutive state championship, still unbeaten in his career. One more season to go. Also winning for Tolton, Will Tyndall at 182. He beat Brookfield's J.J. Abongo with this takedown in the final seconds. Abongo had not lost a match this season. Tolton. Will Tindall wins the title. Fulton set two wrestlers to state finals. Josh McClure at 113 capped a perfect season, winning a state championship. Zach Benner took second place. Earlier today, Paul Books, third place finish for Fulton. Hornets had seven state medals. They end up finishing in fourth place in class two, taking home a team trophy. Logan Moriarty, one of four Jefferson City Jays to win state medals, along with Corbin Howard, Jacob Bruni, and Jalen Martin. Cody Hoon of Fatima was a third place finisher in class one. Peyton Turner of Mexico also won his third place match. One of three medalists for the Bulldogs. So much more. Our own Tom Leffler took in all the action in Columbia this evening. He'll have the complete recap from a busy weekend of high school wrestling. Check it out later tonight on Leffler's link at connectmidmissouri.com. High school basketball wrestling now in the state finals action just wrapped up at Mizzou Arena. There are about a dozen local wrestlers that went for a title tonight, and we already have the winners in place. Let's head on over to Mizzou Arena. We're going to start with Josiah Klein at 113, class four. His match going into overtime, tied at two, but Klein gets the one point escape and who eventually get the lead. And then he would wrap this all up, and he is your state title champion. Meanwhile, Jaden Clayton, the two time champion for Father Tolton at 138. He has control of his man in the first period, locking him down for two points, and he was just dominant, finally getting the fall at 115. Now he is a three-time state champion, and finally Will Tindall from Father Tolton at 182 on a back-and-forth match, but he would win this one 11 to 9. And also, finally, Cody Maley at 182 is a state title winner for Rockbridge. Afterward, Clayton says he feels honored to be on the way to history. It was great. And I like getting the crowd going, hearing the cheers. So it's a great feeling. Happens, I can always win. And even after you got the first take down, I knew that if I had one night, I just looked for the periods. You might have won that first one, I just got two more to win. And Hey, let's go over to some other schools as well. Let's check in with Dylan Wheeler from Marcelina, 106 in class one. He gets a two-point take down, and he'll go on to win this one 10-5. He's a state champ. Meanwhile, for the Fulton Hornets, 
Josh McClure at 113 in class two. He wins on a 6-0 decision. And then the Blair Oaks Falcons, right up there in the team standings up near the front. Logan Mudd helping the cause and winning this one 5 to nothing. He's a state champ. Finally, Cole Kemna can close it out with a big victory, and he does so in a phenomenal fashion, getting the pin, winning 7-6. to six. Cole Kemna, your Blair Oaks Falcons, our state champions. How do you feel, buddy? I don't want it bad enough individually, but uh, at that point, I've blocked all the pressure out. It's just one more match. Slipped and it was on his knee. I was like, I'm down on my free now. I gotta hit something. So I went for the throw. And I caught him. And uh, that's basically what went nice for me. He has the scars of a champion, isn't that right? All right, hey, Columbia College Cougars. Mid-Missouri is well represented tonight at the state wrestling finals. Blair Oaks and Rockbridge still in the hunt for team titles. 12 local grapplers advanced to state title matches tonight. Some early champions already crowned. Josh McClure of Fulton, Tolton's Jaden Clayton, and Josiah Klein from Rockbridge have all won their championship matches this evening. We'll show you all those highlights and give you all the final team results tonight at 10 o'clock. Two teams again still competing for state titles. Earlier today at Mizzou Arena, third and fifth place matches. All these wrestlers earned state medals. Four medalists for the Jefferson City Jays, led by Logan Moriarty, who finished third at 145 pounds. Teammates Corbin Howard, Jacob Bruni, and Jalen Martin all won medals. This is Quinn Smith of Rockbridge, just missed out on a state championship match. He finished third in his weight class. Cody Hoon of Fatima took third at 120 pounds in class one. The only medalist for the Comets this year. Mexico had three finish in the top six in their respective weight classes, led by Peyton Turner, third at 182 pounds in class two. Fulton. Hoping to get a team trophy tonight, Paul Books finished third after losing his opening match on Thursday. He won five straight to get into the medals. Let's take a look at the updated team scores and show you what's going on. The Blair Oaks Falcons have the lead at this moment in Class 1, a half point ahead of Whitfield. It doesn't get much closer than that. Falcons have two wrestlers left to go tonight. Whitfield just one. So Blair Oaks in decent position right now to potentially claim their first state wrestling title. In class four, meanwhile, Rockbridge finds itself four points behind Park Hill. Two Bruins left to wrestle tonight. One Park Hill wrestler to go. That one will go down to the wire. Again, we'll have all the final results tonight at 10. More than 350 college football players will... Well, the Fulton Hornet wrestling team is ranked number one in the state. It's a team that hits the practice gym hard. But as ABC 17 Sherry Burris tells us, the Hornets are also working on hitting all the right notes. Christmas is long over. But this doesn't stop the Fulton wrestling team from breaking out in song before practice. That's, that's about the goofiest thing we've done all year. Head coach Eric Hudson tells me how his team just started belting out Christmas carols one practice. As a group, during the holiday break, they just kind of started singing one day during practice, during warm-ups. And who was on the lead in singing? <laughs> Probably that kid. That kid is Junior Josh McClure. Christmas break, we sang a lot. Uh, just lightens the mood up a little bit. It kind of gets us on our feet, gets us moving around. I mean, it, other than thinking of running, we think of singing. Since Christmas is over, the team's added other songs to their set. McClure tells me singing brings the team closer together. We have a really good team bond, I think, and we're, we're kind of like a brotherhood. And so if one of us wants to sing, we just start singing. It's kind of crazy, but... So it's sort of like no man left behind that once yeah. one sings, you all sing. Yeah, we all sing. The same goes for when it's time to wrestle. The support they have for one another to sing translates to their support for one another on the mat. It's good for our competition aspect just because, you know, we know that if one of us wants to win, I mean, all of us are going to want to win. We all want to be the best. And if we all want to be the best, obviously, we're going to do better and succeed more. So I feel like, I mean, we all have each other's back. Coach Hudson tells me his guys get down to business after seeing their final notes and having a team ranked first in the state and musically inclined makes his guys more enjoyable to be around. They're, they've been a fun group to coach. In Fulton, Sherry Burris, ABC 17 Sports. I'm sure Simon Cowell would approve. Fulton's next meet is this Tuesday against Marshall. We'll sit tight for just a moment because we're gonna take a seat for some. Mid-Missouri is well represented tonight at the state
State Wrestling Finals. Blairton Rockbridge still in the hunt for team titles. 12 local grapplers advanced to state title matches tonight. Some early District Wrestling wrapped up tonight. Here are the placements of some of your local teams. In Class 4, District 3, Jefferson City came in first, and Rockbridge finished in ninth. And in Class 2, District 2, Fulton won first by more than 100 points and have 12 wrestlers qualifying for the state championship. Then in Class 1, District 2, Blair Oaks finished in the top spot for sales right behind them. Then Fatima came in in 11. So we will have a very busy weekend next weekend once we have all those wrestlers at state. All right, looking forward to it. Thanks a lot, Sherry. KRCG 13 State Wrestling Report is brought to you by your Jefferson City High V, supporting local schools in the classroom and in competition, and by Kenna Collision Repair. Let someone you trust do the job right. This is the final night of the 2015 high school wrestling season. 109 wrestlers from Mid Missouri made it to the state championships in Columbia. 14 of them wrestled for state titles tonight. A packed house at Mizzou Arena for state championship matches, and they watched some history courtesy of this guy, Tolton's Jaden Clayton, finishing his career in style, a pinfall win to win a fourth consecutive state championship. Clayton finishes his career undefeated, 158 wins, no losses. Just the second wrestler in Missouri history to cap an undefeated four championship career what a run. His two Tolton teammates that made it to state also won championships. Will Tindall at 182 a second straight state championship at 126 freshman Brock Mahler. A pinfall win. He is a state champion. Three for Tolton. And how about three individual titles for the Fulton Hornets who were in the team hunt in class two. Josh McClure at 138. Zach Benner a pin in his championship match at 195. Benner and McClure both finished 40 and 0 on the season. Trenton Kleins wins by decision. He is a state champ as well. Eight other Mid Missouri wrestlers ended up as state runner up, including Jalen Martin of Jefferson City, second at 195 pounds in Class Four. Frankie Falatico of Blair Oaks ends up second in Class One at 132. Fatimus Caleb Schrader, a state runner up as well. Brett Wilson and Jaden Lee of Mexico both second place finishes. Coleman Brannard and Tristan Barr of Rala also winding up second place. The team scores will start in class two where Fulton nearly pulled it off. The Hornets end up in second place, just three and a half points behind state champion Oak Grove. Mexico a good run finishing in ninth. In class one, the Tolton Trailblazers they finished fourth, winning a team trophy, a team that only brought three wrestlers to the state meet. They didn't lose a match. 12-0 Tolton, fourth, first ever team trophy in any sport for the Trailblazers. Centralia ended up in fifth place for sales, was seventh. In class four, Park Hill wins the team championship. Good run for the Jefferson City Jays. They end up in seventh place. Neosha runs away with a team title in class three. There it is right there, well over Platte County, Rolla, the top area finisher in Class 3 in 10th place. Earlier today at Mizzou Arena, they wrestled 3rd and 5th place matches. These are all wrestlers who earned All-State honors for finishing in the top 6. The Jays ended up with 4 medalists. In addition to Jalen Martin, who we saw a while ago, Christian Mayberry, Logan Moriarty, and Rashawn Woods all won state medals. Graham Ratterman of Rockbridge won his third place match at 170 pounds in Class 4, so he's a state medalist. Fulton ended up with seven medalists in addition to their three state champions. Tucker Caswell here, the heavyweight Clayton Bristol, won his third place match as well. Mexico had five state medalists. Dominic Guthrie here of Moberly ended up fifth place at 152. In Class 1 for sales, finished with four medalists. Dalton Schmidt here. Fifth place at 145, Centralia had six, Hallsville had two medalists as well. Our own Tom Leffler has been following the action all weekend long. You can check out the results from all of our area wrestlers on our website. Head to Leffler's link at connectmidmissouri.com. Mizzou Wrestling is in our... Jane Clox and Jane Clayton have a lot in common. They're good friends, they're both from Columbia, and they'll be teammates in Mizzou next year. And the fourth thing, Clayton had the chance to join Cox as the only two wrestlers in Missouri history to win four state championships. Clayton had an undefeated 157 to nothing career record coming into the match. He told me the moment the match started, he knew it was his. And in the second period, Clayton pinned his opponent 
And folks, you are watching History in the Making. Clayton finishes his career 158 to nothing, a four-time state champion. Now he's off to Mizzou. But first, the celebration. Clayton and his parents shared an emotional moment knowing their son was going down in Missouri wrestling history. It just felt amazing, you know. <laughs> That's all I can say. It's just unreal, really. Uh, I spent my whole high school career going after this, and now it's the next, my next step is going on to Mizzou, and hopefully a national title. A national title would be another thing Clayton and Cox had in common, but he wasn't the only Colton wrestler who dominated today at 126 pounds. Brock Muller pins his opponent to win a state title. And just check out the celebration by Brock Muller. He's only a freshman, so maybe he'll be the next four-time state champ at Colton. At 138 pounds now, Colton's Josh McClure fights his way to a takedown. He ends the season undefeated at 40-0 and wins back-to-back -back state titles. It feels just as good um, to know. I mean, a repeat is always fun because you're staying on top. I mean, next year I have to do the same thing. Last year was great, but I mean, this year feels just as good. It's always fun to win. Along with Jamie Clayton, the Zeus signee Willow Moore won a state championship in the 138-pound weight class. The Seneca wrestler pinned Fatimus Caleb Schroeder. There were four total MU signings competing this weekend. Austin Ewer finished second, and Keegan McCormick finished third. As for their future team, number two Mizzou beat number two ranked team.